Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Knights of Horror. Now it has been a minute since I've actually sat down and talked with you guys about um, horror-related stuff, haunt-related stuff, and that's because we're in a new season now. We're in Christmas now, so we're enjoying Christmas, all that fun stuff. Um, today, we're here to talk about Haunt 2024 news, and you're probably thinking, it's only December. What kind of news will we have? Well, well... We're waiting. A few weeks ago, I was notified on Instagram about Knott's Berry Farm and their seasonal events. Uh, they released all their dates and whatnot, and with that became the Not Scary Farm dates. So today we're going to talk about Not Scary Farm dates and um, hopefully some things that we expect going into 51. Uh, the 50th was by far one of my favorite uh, haunt events of all time. Uh, I had so much fun at the, at the 50th, so many memories, uh, so many great talent out there. So thank you guys. If you guys were involved with the 50th anniversary of Not Scary Farm, I really appreciate the fuck out of you guys. You guys made it a very, very memorable one, and I'll never forget it. So uh, I guess I'll put my haunt speculation book away for now because that is not what we are doing today. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. So help me. So help me. But... Uh, let's talk about those dates. So, not Scary Farm 2024, not Scary Farm 51, September 19th, 2024, running through November 2nd, 2024. Now, I'm super stoked for this because it has been a few years now since uh, we have had um, it bleed into November. I know as now Halloween kind of moving, shifting more towards into the week, um, it's getting closer to a weekend. Uh, I believe that. There is a leap year this year because this year Halloween was on a Tuesday. So next year Halloween will actually land on a Thursday, leaving open that Friday and Saturday to be kind of the closing. Or I think I don't even know how it looks. I got to look at the calendar. I haven't looked at the calendar yet, but this is exciting news. September 19th, not scary farm opening day. November 2nd, not scary farm closing day. Now, a few things that uh, going into 2024, I would love to see uh, for not scary farm. One thing that's on the top of my list I would love to see come back would be the behind the fog tour. Um, I feel like that was such an amazing experience in 2022, especially like when me and Sammy went and, and Hayes, we all went and we, we went through Origins, we went through Waxworks and we went through Dark Ride and we got a behind the scenes look, things that you don't necessarily get to see while you're walking through the maze with all the effects and lighting on. It was so cool to do that and, and with a maze like the Chilling Chambers and, and Cinema Slasher, I would love to walk through those mazes just to see all the Easter eggs, especially with Chilling Chambers. Um, so I hope they bring back the Behind the Fog tour. I really enjoyed that, and that was such an awesome experience. Um, another thing I hope they bring back, obviously, Not Scary Farm annual passes. Uh, those things came in such clutch this year. We went at least once or twice a weekend. Um, we paid for the parking, so we saved a ton on parking. Uh, we saved a ton on admission, and then we bought the drink, the cup, and so we saved a ton on uh, having to buy drinks at the park. So it, it was just all in all, like, all that extra money went towards buying merch. So in my opinion, if you want to please your fans and, and capitalize more on Money Knots, bring back that pass because I got discounts and maybe buy more stuff. Uh, I, I've spent more money on merch. I bought a fuck ton of Not Scary Farm merch. It's not even funny. Like one of them is literally sitting right here. I, I, the minute I saw this, I was like, yeah, the, the fucking lantern grows up. I think it's dying maybe, but you know, still, I can change the batteries out on that. This thing, this was cool. Uh, if you know, you know, my homie right there but yeah i bought so much merch this season it was it was insane uh now going into the 2024 season there's another matter of business that's at hand with this and that is uh two mazes left this season and that's the depths and dark entities uh the depths will be dearly missed dark entities i i, I will miss it uh but i did wish they would have done something more with it for its final year uh, but regardless, still two great mazes. So let's see what else can potentially come this this year. Now, since we started going like full time in 2019, um, you know, a lot of the mazes that we knew that were back there in 2019 are now gone. It was Paranormal Inc., The Depths, Dark Entities, and Waxworks. I think Waxworks is the only remaining maze from that 2019 year still back there. So um, I'm excited to see what they bring to the table in that area. Hopefully it will start transitioning a lot of the crowds from that front of the park back to the back of the park so maybe that that front of the park will be a little bit more empty i can go through chilling chambers like 50 times in a row if i wanted to send them a slasher um but i can't wait to see what they come back uh with with two new two new mazes this year 
Um, and I'm super excited to see uh, what they do with those. Now, it's really hard to predict a not scary farm maze. Everything is usually an original. I think they've done IPs only like a handful of times in the past, but it's really hard to predict a maze that is coming to not scary farm. I think something that if, if we were gonna bring any theming back for originality, I would love to see uh, something on werewolves. <laughs> I think werewolves are very popular and they're they're they go really well with the not scary farm history so i would love to see that um and maybe something with like a another paranormal vibe i thought that was the the, the paranormal ink was just such a great maze and, and so many people agree with that so i would love to see something in that aspect or something that expands the lore of the stories they're trying to tell here at not scary farm either way i can't wait to see what comes um i think my last thing that i hope comes back in 2024 was the preview event now i hope it comes back but i hope they do not oversell it i think what over overselling it was kind of a mistake in the sense that we got there and we we watched the whole presentation everything that was awesome that was fun um i thought it was going to be in the theater it, it, it's been in the theater in the past at the um where they do like snoopy on ice and where uh, music monsters of mayhem was it's usually in that theater, but this year they were had it at the Calico stage. So I, I'm curious to see what becomes of it. If it does come back this year, I think it was a huge success. We live streamed it. That was a lot of fun. However, we found ourselves caught up at the uh, line for the tribute store. And so we really didn't get to see anything else. We walked through Ghost Town and they had some scare actors running around and whatnot, but like we didn't get to do the lights on tour with Origins. We didn't get to go see like all the other workshops and all the other panels that they had there that night. We literally were in line for the tribute store the entire night and didn't get in until like near closing. So we literally were in line for the tribute store, went into the tribute store, like really saw everything as fast as we could, got a couple of things and left. And then by the time it was time to leave, it was closing ceremonies and we they closed out the show and then it was time to go home. But I want less selling, make that more kind of like that first take, that first ticket sales is your only kind of like exclusivity to it. But um, yeah, we had a lot of fun with it though, regardless. And uh, I cannot wait to see what happens with Not Scary Farm 2024. But let us know what you guys think is going to happen for 2024 season. There's a lot of uh, a lot of talks already, a lot of rumors, but uh, I'm curious to see what you guys have to think. Leave your comments and uh, questions and whatnot down below in the comment section. Like this video if you guys enjoyed the uh, content provided here on the Nights of Horror. We have podcasts coming out uh, once a week. We were supposed to do Scare Actor Appreciation Month this month, but I got moved to a night schedule and some pretty life-changing events happened in my life, so... Um, we took a little little break and we weren't able to do character appreciation month but we're gonna do something where throughout the year uh, for you know the rest of 2023 and most of 2024 we're gonna have characters come on the podcast about once a week and just call it a character appreciation episode kind of rallying it up to a character appreciation year in a sense so you'll see a new podcast every single week uh, starting really soon actually so with all that being said make sure you guys are subscribed with that bell notification where every time I put up an new video and also follow us on all of our social media so you're always aware of what what goes down on the nights of horror but until then we'll see you guys for another one real soon right here on the nights of horror